marching band. That, that's what we need. Like a mighty army. We are soldiers, ain't we? In the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And we're marching forward. Yes. supposed to be in Wheeling? Yeah. That's what I thought. But you don't know that. We do know it. Well, it would be nice if he'd come up here now, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, if, if, if you see some guys walk in with long trench coats on and Uzis in their hand, he's here. Okay? Now we'll know he is. Now, Richard back there has already got things in order. Right, Richard? He's, he's working with the Secret Service. That's right. We see a helicopter coming down like we know that guy is, is here. You just never know. Well, I'll tell you one person, though, that's here. That's Jesus. Amen. It's Holy Amen. Spirit. And as long as he's here, that's really all we need. Amen. All right, we're going to go to page 11 in your praise and worship book today. And we're going to do the song, He is Here. And truly, he is here. His spirit's here, hallelujah. And you can always feel the spirit of the Lord in this church. Amen? Praise God. He is here, hallelujah. He is here. Yeah. 
song that they sing he doesn't come often the pastor he comes by every now and then praise God hallelujah
surrounds us in the eye of the storm. All right, someone got a word for the Lord? Don't everybody testify at once now. All right. I got a call from my grandson. Yeah. It's his first 18th birthday. Well, praise the Lord. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Amen. I don't want to pass nobody up. This is your opportunity to say something good for the Lord. Sister Mary, quit fanning yourself and testify. Oh. I mean, there's a hotter place than this. In a lot of churches. Well, 99% of them do. But I'm thankful for that. Amen. And my sister family. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anyone else? Uh, Linda? I didn't get to do that. <laughs> Oops. I went to the doctor. I was scared. I didn't know what I was expecting. I just wanted to be left alone. I know I hurt. I just need to be alone. Yes, he is. I worry about things. And I know that if you say it, it don't work. It's I'm here. That's I'm right. Here. He's here. I'm just living down on the beach. <laughs> because the smell got me. That's right. That's right. In the eye of the storm. Yes, sir. And that's what I went through yesterday when I came up. I spent some of the time when I was in the car. I didn't know how to respond. But he's with us. He's mm -hmm. here. He's with us. Yes. You know, Amen. He sure is. a chain that needs to be broken. Amen. Praise God. And he can heal your body. Amen. Praise he God. Can, he can hear, heal Arthur. 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 Yeah. Arthur can, That's can, right. I can't say that again Arthur. for some reason. But he can Arthur. heal Arthur. That's right, honey. Yes, he can. If he can heal me of bone cancer, That's right. he can heal. Amen. That's right. He can heal. That's right. All right, here we go. You've been walking the same old road for miles and miles. You've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies. Have you been trying to fill the same old hole inside? There's a better life. There's a better life. You've got pain. He's a pain taker. Better life. You got pain. 
He's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. You need freedom or saving. He's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Oh, thank God he is. Hallelujah. This is what we got to do right here, Sister Linda. You believe it. You receive it. You can feel it. Somebody testify. You believe it. You receive it. You can feel it. Somebody testify. Testify. You believe it. You receive it. If you can feel it, somebody testify. You got pain. He's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. You gotta believe it. You gotta have the faith. Amen. Praise God. We're gonna do old church choir. Get ready to get down. And this is gonna be the last song. This will get this will get down one. Oh. I can see that. There's revival that is spreading like a wildfire in my heart. Sunday morning, hallelujah, and it's lasting all week long. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? It's the rhythm of a gospel song.
included we get our blessed assurances handed to us sometimes on a regular basis because we're not armed there was a movie what was that just armed and dangerous pretty good comedy movie but we need to be armed and dangerous right here armed and dangerous i even got some little props yeah my wife said, you need to use more props. And I said, oh, okay. I do every now and then, but what, what, what's our word? We got a sword. It's a sword. sword. Sharper than a two-edged sword. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes, it is. Better get my specs on that. Be <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Miracle happens here at Zor. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> But we're battling, church, between who we was and who we are. It's a constant battle. He's not going to give up, and neither should we. Sometimes one minute you're that good little Christian, you're walking the walk and talking the talk and speaking in tongues and looking at that good little Christian, 
Then sometimes the flesh kind of leads us. Then we'll be talking in some tongues that's not so quite unknown. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me because you could be standing in the line at Walmart and somebody's slow in front of you and if you get angry at them. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Old Satan and his flaming arrows. Another prophet. <laughs> Here comes doubt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depression. Yeah. Guilt. Yeah. Shame. You know, he's got a whole quiver full of them. Yeah, he does. A bunch of them. And he knows each and every one of your weaknesses. He knows your downfall. He knows what to throw at you. Here in the last few months, I ain't gonna show this on live stream. But... <laughs> well, thank you, brother. All right. My wife said, well, just suck it in. I said, yeah, I'd get tired. <laughs> Sucking that in all day. But now I got the middle-aged spread, they call it. Well, I'm spreading out very well, thank you. But <laughs> the devil knows your temptation. Them crispy creams are so good. They sure are. And God forbid the apple turnovers. <laughs> And then he throws people in to tempt you when they go get a fresh batch of chocolate. Uh -oh. No names. No names. But the temptation is great. But it's so good. And Satan, uh, but sometimes the flesh wins. We don't want it to. Sometimes it wins. And our faith bottoms out. Been there. Done that. My poison back in the day when my faith would bottom out would be the bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seemed to take care of my pain for that little bit of time. You're still there. Still there. It just covered it up, brother. Mm -hmm. Just covered it up. But boy, I would drown my sorrows instead of going to where I should have went. Went to the bottle. <laughs> then, get up the next day and put my face in a place that was not made for your face. No, exactly. <laughs> but boy, then a spark of faith would miraculously come back because I first thing out of my mouth, oh Lord, oh, oh Lord, oh help me Lord, take this way, I'll never do it again. Satan's a liar and the father of it too. But ain't that funny, boy that cold porcelain felt so good sometimes though. Bill Cosby got me that one. Face that wasn't made for your face. It, Bill Cosby is a funny man. But sometimes the battle wins. But you see, the whole reason this can happen because we're unarmed and we're not prepared for battle. Every time because you see, every time Satan comes with something, we have a weapon. We have a way out. It's up to us. Instead of picking up my Bible, I picked up the bottle. Free choice. Flesh will win the battle. Unless, Paul tells us in Ephesians, Get to the word where I should have got a little while ago. I got carried away. Ephesians six sixteen tells us above all. Not prop, honey. 
taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all I lost There we go. Maybe. Which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. So what's Paul saying here? Above all. In other words, this is in Ephesians 6 where he's talking about putting on the full armor of God, right? The helmet, everything. But he says above all. Which means any, all the other pieces of armor is good too. But above all. The shield of faith. What was we talking about? Believing in the praise and worship, brother? Sister Linda, believing? Right? Above all, take the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. One, two, 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 two. Okay. I tell you what, I'm loud enough, brother, for a minute. You, you got batteries? Now I'll go ahead and talk. quench all the fiery darts. Okay? And in 1 Peter 5, 9, resist him. There's another key component to this. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Resist him Resist him. I, I don't know the scripture, but resist him and he'll flee. Submit yourself therefore unto him. Resist the devil. And he will flee. Amen. From him, right? right? So when he brings this fleshly temptation up against us, resist the temptation. I could have resisted the temptation many times. Amen. We choose not to. Right. We choose to give in to the flesh side of us. Yeah. Spirit, flesh. Like I said earlier, every time we wake up, yep. it's there. Yep. The battle is there. You have your spirit and you have your flesh. Thank you, brother. Yep. And it is definitely a battle. Yeah. So it's up to us, though. To give Satan a what for? Right? But it's up to us. Mute yourself. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Bloopers. Funniest church videos. We're going to make one. In including <laughs> Dino or Dino. <laughs> Okay, Pastor, you said I'd never mess up with what I just did. <laughs> but it says steadfast in faith, which means firm. Stand firm on what? The word. We was talking about that in our praise and worship also. It went right along with my sermon. Faith in what? Christ or the word. Either is correct. Because there is one in the same. John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So when we say, as Christians, that we have Christ in us, same difference. The Word. 
But you see, with this word, we have to open it. Amen. We have to get in it. We have to... And I'm telling you this from experience. I'm not perfect. I need to be in it more myself. More so because of what he called me to do. Because when those men at work come to me with a question, I better have an answer. Amen. I better know where to tell them. It is. Where to find the answer. But not just me and pastor and the teachers. You all have a responsibility. Amen. Because Christ called you. You're his children. Amen. We're to spread the word. We're to go out into the world and make disciples of all. I cannot do that when I'm putting my face in a place that wasn't made for my face. Right. I'm not shining a good light right. at all. Yep. So you see, Christ, the Word, has to be in us in order to arm ourselves for battle. Proverbs 4, 20 and 22 says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Boy, this is good scripture, Pastor. This is me. This is me. Do not let them, do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of what? Your heart. Amen. A person's heart will tell you everything about them. Amen. Either they got a kind one or a not so kind one. It's all in the heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. For they are life to those who find them. And health, Linda, health to all their flesh. Amen. The word. Like Prego, in here. Everything we need in life from start to finish, right here, right now. It's all we need. Right in front of us, you know. If there was a million dollar check laying on the ground, you wouldn't be walking by it, would you? I don't know of anybody that would just walk by it. I got to say, <laughs> no, Linda wouldn't. <laughs> as long as she put it in the building fund, I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> Why do we walk by this ten hundred times a day? Worth more than a million bucks. I guarantee you that. Amen. It's life. It's life mm -hmm. to those that find it and health to their flesh. Mm -hmm. But oh, how we overlook it. We overlook it. When we overlook the word, what are we overlooking? Oh. Christ. I just told you they're one and the same. Times we got to get off the fence. You want to know why it's so important to have the word in us? Christ, when he was on this earth, what could he do? He could command demons to obey, and they would obey. Yeah. I forget where it's at, Pastor, where he told the demons to get out of this man and go into the pigs. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And they did it. Yes. Why? Because of the command of his voice. He could command demons, and they would obey. But yet, when he was in the desert, and Satan was tempting him, what did he do? Quoted scripture. Turn, you're starving to death here, Jesus. Turn this rock into bread. Man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. Jump off here. You can dash your foot, and there'll be a band of eagles. angels. Do not tempt the Lord your God. He quoted scripture to him. So think about it. If Christ did it, mm -hmm. 
Don't you think we might need to, too? But yet we let him get away with so much. And did you catch what I said? We let him get away with so much. Why? Because we got the weapon. We have the shield. We do not have to put up with his shenanigans. Christ gave us a way out. He gave us a weapon. But we got to use the weapon. We got to know the weapon. Simple. So simple even a child can do it. Why? Because we are the children of Christ. He made it really simple for us. But sometimes we're ignorant. Sometimes we're weak. So you see, the power over the devil, if you want power over the devil and want to win these battles with the spirit and the flesh, then we need to lock and load Treasure up the Word of God in us, just as Christ himself did and the saints before us did. We need to wield it like a two-edged sword. We need to quote it to him. Sickness. Isaiah 53, 5 says, By my stripes I am healed. By his stripes I am healed. Worry. I worry about this. I worry about 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all my cares on him. Poverty. Philippians 4.19 says he will supply all my needs. I'm not okay with lack. He didn't promise that. I'm not okay with sickness. He didn't promise that. I'm not okay with fear. He didn't promise that to me. You do not have to put up with same shenanigans. Saying we're not okay with troubled marriages, are we? No. no, we don't have to put up with that. That's right. I'm not okay with my kids in this lost and dying world. I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with the drug addiction that our kids are going through in this world today. I'm not okay with it. It's time for us to not be okay with these things. We're sitting by idle and letting this stuff happen. Not only in our great country, but in our state of West Virginia. Our little state of West Virginia, which is one of the biggest drug addiction states yes. in the yes, United States. Yes. Yes, it is. How can that happen? Mm -hmm. How can we as Christians let this stuff happen? Amen. Amen. Because we're not using what he gave us. Amen. This has to be in here so it can come out here. Church, guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you come back up. Uh, well, wow, thank you, Jesus, for that. Amen. Church, it's time for us to stand up and be counted. Because you see, we're not just losing a soul here and a soul there. We're losing generations. Yes. Amen. We're losing whole generations of children. He's not putting shame and guilt on me. I have seven children between me and my wife. Not one is following the Lord. He tries to throw that at me all the time. I throw it right back at him because I shield it. I shield it because I know what my Lord promised me in here, Pastor. I know. And they will be at this altar one day. And I have faith and I believe his word. Amen. Pastor was talking about revival coming. We need a revival. We need to start a revival right here, right now, starting within. 
each of us need a revival within our own self Amen. before we can have a whole church revival. Yes. Let's get ourselves prepared for this upcoming. Let's blow Frank's mind when he comes. <laughs> When we're already so fired up that he can feel the spirit, yes. it might knock him back a few yes. steps. Yes, amen, yes. Amen. Church, it starts with us. Yep. When we go out them doors, that's when the work begins. Yes, it does. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When we get up in the morning, Sam, mm -hmm. we have a choice. My wife's not a morning person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she would take that choice in a heartbeat. She's one of the ones that snooze. It's supposed to be a couple snoozes to get you up, right? <laughs> not 10 or 15. By that time, you can, you can sleep another whole hour. So why not just set the alarm for an hour ahead instead of 15 of them? Yeah. Yes, because, well, now let me finish this story. I set the alarm so I could get her up. She gets up first. Thank you, honey. You're a blessing to me. But it takes me 15 hits of the button to get her up. <laughs> then I love her. She goes, gets my coffee, Pastor. And then, and then I get up. But yes. <laughs> We need to start the revival to where we're full and running over. Amen. So the world out there knows that greater is he that is in here yes. than what's out there. Yes. We need yes. to be greater in here mm -hmm. than the trouble that's out there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. What's that crazy worship song? I command you Satan in the name of the Lord to give up your weapons and flee. I Lord has given me authority to walk all over thee. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord to give up your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given me Sorry, Brother Jim had to leave, but I was talking to him when I came in this morning, and that man is the bionic man. He has had so many vows and stuff done to his heart. And I told him, I'm not done with you yet. Why would he allow them doctors to mix and mangle and fix you up? There's got to be a reason. So God's not done with none of you yet. So don't think he is. It's just whether you're a willing vessel. There's a lot for you to do if you would do it. Amen. He's calling each and every one of us yes. to something. Yes. Are you going to do it? Amen. He didn't call you to sit in this pew and That's listen right. to me. I'm glad you do. <laughs> but find out. And this might be the place to find out mm -hmm. what he's called you to do. Amen. There's more to life than what we're doing. Mm -hmm. There's more to life than what I'm doing right now. I have to make more time to put more of this where it belongs. Amen. we got to make time. Amen. So when we face that battle in the morning when we get up, we got to work. go to the Word. 